Okay, today is February the 28th, 2016. We're watching the Northeast Pacific uh, water vapor loop. And today in Los Angeles and all around Southern California, we had very, very heavy chemtrail spraying, aerosol spraying all day long. That was because of residual moisture moving in uh, offshore all through the entire state. But down where we are, uh, they were really spraying heavily from horizon to horizon. It was just a toxic soup mess. Uh, very uh, irritating to the sinuses, uh, headaches, everything. Okay, so right now at uh, 920, we have a temperature of 60 degrees. The relative humidity is 66%. The dew point is 49 degrees, and the barometric pressure is 30.00. And uh, we're watching this hurricane force storm. This is, uh, was over here yesterday. It, it uh, rapidly uh, developed into a large system. We can see that. It's now uh, labeled as a storm. And we have a second uh, system over here. This is a rapidly developing system here, which is also hurricane force. Keep an eye on that. Uh, we have uh, a number of other lows indicated throughout this pinwheel. There's about seven or eight of them. We'll take a look at that here in a few minutes. Uh, we'll notice that there is a very straight edge right here on this uh, storm system. The last uh, couple of frames, you could lay a ruler right there. That is about as straight as it gets. And also up here, we see the same, same thing. There's actually a right angle right here and a straight edge. Right up, that's a low pressure system right up there. Okay, so we have, uh, this is the 11th day now for high pressure parked off of California right down here. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Now let's look at the jet stream. Jet stream is uh, being interrupted right here. And we have uh, got high pressure installed at the surface level. And uh, we'll take a look at that. This jet stream is at 300 millibar. That's 30,000 feet. Here is the western U.S. water vapor loop. And we can see that storm offshore. And what's happening here? This is a very distorted looking front. We can see a uh, transmitter is working on this core. We have uh, some very, this is a, a straight edge right here pretty much. And we have a very strange angle here. This is a transmitter uh, focusing uh, right on top of this core. We've got another low pressure system right here. Got a transmitter on it. And we have all this high pressure down here, but we still have some moisture moving in. This is a, a 1,025 millibar high. This, they can pump these high pressures up a lot higher than 1,025 millibar. We've seen them up as high as uh, 1,045 or 1,050 millibar. Uh, so they have they have fairly you know moderate high pressure right off of California, but that is still allowing uh, moisture to come through, and they are chemtrailing it. And so there's actually no there's no rain or any uh, any damp weather at all. So there's no rain in the forecast uh, for the next several days, and yet there's all this weather offshore. So here we are taking a look now at the uh, infrared loop. This is a lot of moisture. This is a, a very, uh, very large system and uh, no rain in the, in the forecast for Southern California. <clears throat> okay, here's the uh, surface analysis map. We can see that high pressure here. This has been here for 11 days, 1,025 and 1,027 millibar. And we have low pressures indicated all over. We've got one, two, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's one way out here, nine. This is out at almost 170 east. This is moving to towards the uh, this is moving uh, east towards the uh, west coast. This is a rapidly intensifying hurricane force storm. And it's uh, pretty amazing that uh, we're not getting any rain out of any of this, but the reason is is because of this high pressure that's been parked in place. And that will probably remain there for the next uh, two to three days based on what we're seeing out here. We have a huge storm right there. And uh, that is, uh, this high pressure is put there to block that weather. All right, here's the uh, wave analysis chart. We have nine and 12 and 15 foot seas right off the west coast and we have 24 to 29 foot swells right in the core of that storm right there 
Okay, let's take a look at the uh, MODIS Today map. This is the True Colors satellite showing the uh, chemtrail activity. We can see uh, Los Angeles right here. And uh, there's just a whole lot of aerosol spraying all over. There are streaks, chemtrails all over the place. We do have some real clouds. This white, natural, brilliant white stuff is the uh, natural clouds. And over here, this is all chemtrail mix, this brown off-white stuff. This is all chemtrail mix. Let's pan around a little bit. This is a mixture of chemtrail stuff over the tops of the uh, real clouds. Over here on the far left, we can see some natural clouds. This is all chemtrail stuff. Okay, so we get the idea. There was a lot of spraying going on. Here is uh, Central California. We can see a lot of streaks all through here. It's running all over the place, every which way. All right, here's the uh, surface pressure analysis map. And we can see the size of that high pressure. The 11th day straight right here. That's going to uh, block the storm from moving in. And we have the 500 millibar. Let's see two lows indicated up here. And the 300 millibar this indicates some low pressure down here. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. That's the summary. And there's no rain in the forecast. Um, despite all that weather offshore. So this is climate change, all right, but it's not the climate change that most people uh, are uh, buying into. This is a deliberate uh, weather manipulation. It's weather warfare, I think. This is you know, what we're seeing here by the chemtrail spraying. This is a U.S. operation. Those planes are operating in U.S. airspace. They're stopping the rain. Uh, this this is not a, a heavy uh, this is this would not be considered a storm at all right here what's moving into California yet there's spring to stop the any rain that that would generate out here we have a real serious storm this is a big storm a lot of moisture and uh, but yet there's spring and keeping this residual moisture out of our area so there's there's a lot of things going on um, they're stopping our rainfall and the drought is deliberately uh, being caused by what they're doing and uh, so that's that's it. That's the report. We'll do another one tomorrow.